Hello everybody, Go Away here, bring you some more Evil Land 2. I'm picking off exactly where I left off last time, which is trying to solve this stupid puzzle that I apparently can't solve, even though three-year-olds everywhere else can't solve this with probably their eyes closed and stuff. I don't know what to say, man. I'm just that stupid, apparently. What the? What if I do something like that? Well, I got all six crystals, but now what? <laughs> That does, like, nothing for me. Hmm. I have to power all six crystals. Does that do anything for us? Oh! <gasps> I'm a freaking- I don't know how I did that- Oh! Okay, so basically use a mirror- <laughs> Basically I used the, one of the mirrors twice. Man! Uh, yeah, it didn't take me six episodes. I did it on my first try, guys. First try, yeah, first try. Uh, no, no problem at all, guys. <laughs> you figured it out? Yeah, man, I'm a genius, didn't you know? Well, you've earned credits for the optics class. I knew it was gonna have to do something with, like, bouncing another mirror off another one. Why are all these piranha plants all over the place? Uh, psh, let's talk to you. What do you got for me? Hello, my friends. Uh, what? It's Weeza Plazer that I explained you classic paint. What? It was a oh, it was a pleasure that I explained explained you classic painting. I don't know. You want you want a learning? Uh, sure. Thank you, my friends. Uh. Painting Classica. To complete the painting, move the colors so that no color appears twice on the same line or column. Colors marked with a dot cannot be moved. Ah, okay. Let's see. No color can appear twice. Now it's the oranges, I guess. I don't know. Is any of them appearing twice in one row? Oh, the blue! I can't move green, I can't move... Oh my god! Okay, so I gotta make sure every row has, an, has a color. So what if I do this? There's already a... Oh, no, I can't. There's already a red here. There's five different colors! Alright, so we can't do red. Red also can't be here. We can do that, I guess. And now we gotta move the blue. Wait, what if we do a zigzag pattern? And then orange. We can't do a zigzag pattern. Or maybe I can. If orange is there, we can leave orange there, orange there. Hmm. Violet can stay there, but not here. Man, this is getting messier by the second. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, they can't go here, they can't go here, but they can go here. There's gotta be a logical way to think about this that I am not doing right now. I always seem to have two colors together. Oh! I don't know how I did it, but I did it by moving them around and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I did it because I'm a genius. Yep, I got my credit. Four out of six. So there's two credits left. What about you? One of them is the, the garrison one. I might have to brute force that one. The library holds so many books, it all must be sorted meticulously. I am in charge of the archives, but because such a collection can't be perfectly sorted, I bear the title of Anar Anarchivist? What? It's a little joke dating back to the Imperial era. At any rate, I have a tidying related conundrum that has me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights. Now, would you like to give it a try? I mean, sure, if I'm getting credits. 
I wish I could get credits this easily in school. And he doesn't even have to pay for it. He's going to school for free right now. Why couldn't I get a free phone? Wait. Right, because I didn't get a scholarship. That's right. All right, let's do it. N08, the obsessive sort. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? How the heck am I supposed to know? Is it the color that's the same or something? How are you supposed to know this? I don't understand. Oh my god, I am gonna have to kill someone. This is gonna be so freaking annoying. How am I even supposed to know? Is it which ones don't have a match? The color, maybe? The shape? The height? Well, if I had to pick, this one's the tallest one, so I don't know. I'm probably wrong. Yep, I was wrong. I wish they gave me more hints. Alright, let, let, let's try this again. Yeah, sure. How would I... Oh, my God. Oh, okay, let's think about this really, really carefully. What book does not belong? There's got to be a book that does not look like it matches any other, I'm assuming. I, I, I don't like how this one gives you, like, no direction. It's like a silent riddle kind of thing. I mean, what about this book? I, I picked that one because it had, like, two lines and a square. Okay, so that's not it. I'm so glad we have, like, infinite tries here. Because if I had to do this on my own and only had one try, I'm pretty sure I would have failed this a long time ago. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking... Wait. Wait. Is it about the lines that are above or below the gigantic squares? This is one three 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 one three. Okay. This is two 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 two. You notice how how there's like two small lines, and it's separated by a giant block before the next two lines. This is one with the giant block separating three. What about this one? This is three one. Three one. <gasps> this is a two two. Three one three one three one three one three one three one. It's got to be this book. Two two. Yeah! I'm a genius, dude. Nope, no, nope, no questions about it. That was first try, right, guys? First try. Never a doubt in your mind. Oh dear me, we have this book in triplicates. Here, take it. We're short on space anyway. <gasps> we got the book. We got the book. You got fifty drinking games, really? A book night. We're about to give those to the kids, aren't we? Ugh, okay, whatever. Alright, let's try to solve this riddle now. There's gotta be a way I can finish solving this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this already. Let me just check out the map. Must reach one of the seven towers. The patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path. Twice. What do you mean they can never use the same path twice? How many patrols are there? Okay, so let's just say it goes from F, D, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, so now it's at A. It can't take the same path twice? What does that even mean? Oh! Oh, oh, once it's garrisoned, does it move from that spot? Okay, so let's just say F, E, D, C, B, A. Then it goes to G, F, E, D. G, F, G, F, E, D, C. And then it goes to B, A, G, D, E, F? No matter how I look at it, you can never land on G, though. 
Yeah, no matter how I look at it, you can't land on G. One, two, three, four, five. But G is definitely not the right answer. You know what, guys? I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to have to brute force this one. And I'm not going to understand why. G and C don't work right now. I mean, technically, I've already completed this. They said I only needed like four out of the six, but I want to do all of them to see whatever their, um, reward that uh, the Grandmaster dude is going to give me. All right, so we've guessed G and C. What about D? Because it's technically in a crosswalk section, too. All right, C, D, G don't work. C, D, G don't work. Is it E? Why is it E? Ah, yes, of course. I'm in your debt now, so if you ever have a problem, come by and see me. See, this is the thing I don't understand. If you knew the answer all along, why are you asking me this? It is a waste of time for both you and me. Come on. Well, I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. You, f you fully deserve the credit for a military... Yeah, okay. I totally deserved all that. Anyways, I got six out of six credits now. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe he'll teach you some stuff. So, you're so are your studies progressing well? You finished all the required courses. Do you wish to end your studies? Yes. Congrats! Most students drop out before the end. Alright, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know? Uh, the, the Magi? The Magi are a people, or rather a civilization, that peaked more than 2,500, 2,500 years ago, while the world was largely underwater. According to the legend, they possessed magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say they could manipulate time itself. But these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporary contemporaneous peoples to account for strange phenomena after the fact nevertheless after dominating the era in which they lived they completely vanished 2000 years ago all they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries what would you like to know the magilifs what are commonly called Magilus are in fact the most famous relics of the Magi. Civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread throughout various continents. It is not precisely known what purpose they served. Deciphered writings refer to a road or path, but where does it lead? By the way, when he said exaggerate, I doubt that's the case because we're here right now in the future. Incidentally, it was while searching for a Magilith that my former professor, also a great expert on the Magi, met her end. Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? The disappearance of the Magi. Surely it's the greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish from the face of the Earth 2,000 years ago? And without a trace or practically none. Even after years of research, I must admit, I haven't the foggiest idea. What would you like to know? The per your professor. My old professor was a leading Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the Magilis. She thought the stones contained a power that once triggered would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a Magilith that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. I wonder if the professor is like the leader of that cult now. Sadly, she was... What? Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived on the island at the time. No one ever found a trace of her. That was on Magi Isle. The one people now call the Cursed Isle. What would you like to know? The Stone of Time. The Stone of Time is quite the legend in itself. It has some connection with the Magilifs, but I do not know more than that. The 
Ida predates the Magi by many years. So long ago, in fact, that no one remembers when or why it was created. I'm not even sure if the stone really exists. Oh, it exists, all right, Gramps. The only direct reference I was able to identify is in the archives of the Demonian royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The Stone of Time is evidently a large round stone black with an eye engraved in its center. Interestingly, the eye resembles that... Oh, the eyes resembles that used by the Prophet. A bizarre coincidence if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. What would you like to know? Oh, there's so many questions. I'm gonna answer the rest. I'm gonna go through the rest of these options in the next episode. Thank you for joining me, and as usual, if you like the episode or like the content I provided, please hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with my latest content, as I do upload every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I highly, highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button and join the subscription feed to get my latest uploads. Anyways, thank you for joining me, and this is Go Away, Going Away, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.